Welcome back on into Fox 43 AM Live, where I owe Ben a huge apology this morning. This is Mr. Ben Coates. Oh my goodness, Ben, Bob, Bill, who we got coming on yeah, later. Just I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ben, you're here, of course, with the uh, Historic Home Society. Uh -huh. So I would like to ask you, you guys have your big fundraiser coming up. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's been going on since 1946, right? Well, we, the Shawnee County Historical Society has been around since 1946. This is our fifth annual Historic Homes Tour. Wonderful. So, I mean, what it, for anyone that doesn't really know her, mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of, you know, you can kind of infer what's, what is going right, to be on the tour, right, but right. would you just mind explaining usually what you guys do? Well, we pick some homes. We kind of have a theme, mm -hmm. you know, every year. This year, our theme is going to be the mid-century homes, so which is really kind of, <laughs> mid-century is really kind of hot right now. Yeah. And we're going to have five mid-century homes. They're all built in the late 50s, early 60s. Um, most of them are in the West Hills area. They've had another one in the 2500 block of James. So it'll be very easy to get yeah. around. But um, it's just really fun to go in and see the architectural aspects and some of the history of some of these houses. I, I, well, I'm looking at some of them now. Yeah, <laughs> some of them too. Yeah. These are really, really cool. I mean, do you uh, just, you know, curious myself, do you know kind of signature um, architectural, you know, designs of that of that time that yeah. you could tell me are like some some thir you know key pieces that they you might know, we might it, see you know mid-century homes have a lot of a lot of seem to have more windows yeah. they're very clean design so it's kind of almost hard to Explain. It's kind of one of those when you see it, you know. Okay. Oh, hey. No. <laughs> you, well, I, you know? I mean, you said a lot of windows and a lot of those. Oh homes yeah, they have, have they quite have, a lot of yeah, windows. they have so. a lot of windows. They, they a lot of natural light, and uh, the mid-century they call the modern one is very very clean, um, kind of very uh, elegant. Oh. So not not elegant like in Victorian, but in a in a different way. In a different way, yeah. kind of clean lines, very, just very, very clean. clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really enjoy that. So you know what is you mentioned already, kind of the theme for uh -huh. this year. Uh -huh. But what's the main attraction? Do you guys have anything that you're really excited to show off? Yeah. So these homes, of course, I mean, love showing off um, these beautiful historical homes in, mm -hmm. in Shawnee County. And then we always follow up with uh, we're going to have a, um, a little presentation. Um, by Ann Anderson. It was going to be at the Sunflower Foundation, Wonderful. you know, up at the old Menninger Hill. And she has written some things in the past called a post from a mid-century kid, talking about growing up in the 50s and 60s. Oh, how so great. Tickets are uh, $75 each or $65 if you're a member of the society. But um, we'll also have some uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres and wine during, during the presentation. Wow. Okay. So yeah. I get, you're telling me I get wined and dined yes, while I'm looking yes, at these do. awesome homes? That's right. That's that is right. so cool. So, you know, when is it and, and how can people really get involved? Yeah, it's October 15th. Okay. It's a Sunday. Um, we chose that Sunday because there is no Chiefs game that day. So we figure no one's going to be doing anything, right? You On are the Sunday, you're going to watch the Chiefs, right? <laughs> no Chiefs game that day. So that's the perfect day to yes, have it. Yes, it is. So, and if they want to, then go to ShawneeCountyHistory.org, which is our website, and they can buy the uh, they can buy the tickets there. Okay, cool. And then also find out some more about us. Like I said, we started in 1946, yeah. and uh, we were based out of the Ritchie House here in Topeka, which is... That was the, my next question. You already answered yeah, it. Ritchie old, House. Yes, the oldest home in Topeka, and, and it was a stop on the Underground Railroad. That is so, so there, cool. And we're really work on keeping that um, up and up and going, and then we do tours through there as well. So people are, are is this going to be a part of this tour, or people can separately take a tour? No, they can the show house? up. Um, we have a times, I think, Monday through Thursday, that people, if they show up, they can take a tour of the, uh, of the oh, Ritchie cool. House. And then during nice weather, um, we also on Sundays do uh, historical walking tours. So oh, we have great. done like the old Hicks block. We have done Topeka Cemetery, Mount Hope Cemetery. We've done the, the bomb shelter underneath the courthouse. There's, a, yeah, I mean, things That's like that. And we, we've had a really, um, really good turnout for yeah. things like well, that, the I mean, people coming. When you live in Topeka, it's such a historically rich area. It really is. You know what I mean? It's so cool when I first moved here to see all, you know, you really, I mean, everything is, I, I, I don't want to say this in a bad way, it's, it's older. So you get uh -huh. to see the different, you know, kind of how things have changed over time architecturally. Sure. Sure. You know, it just is such an interesting place and so much history. So I just, my last question here, you know, where do these funds go? This is a fundraiser. Right. And of course, you guys do amazing work. So, uh -huh. you know, how does this help you all? It, truthfully, it goes to um, keeping us um, help the Ritchie House keep going. It still needs a lot of repair. Like I said it was built in the 1850s, mm -hmm. so it needs a lot of repair. But also, um, it goes to help doing the walking tours 
and um, part of a, we have another house right next to the Ritchie House that we use, the Cox Center. And, um, you know, it's, it, we can make that an event center. So trying to keep everything up to date and then at some point trying to expand and renovate that area to, to include even uh, more things from Shawnee County history. That's the goal. I mean, yes. make even more history, that's right? That's right. That's all right. right. Oh, my goodness, Ben. Well, we'll have all this posted after the show so people know exactly where they need to go to go get wine and dine and have a yes. wonderful time with you guys on yep. the historical home tour. All right. All right. Thank you all so right, much. All right. Thank you. Yeah.